What is up, guys? Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world of War Thunder. This time taking to the sky with some early tier jets, which we are going to discuss today. And, you know, I thought I would take time out of this recording when to talk to you guys about a couple things in War Thunder. Uh, most YouTubers have done something like this. You know, Fly really kind of kicked it off, and everybody seems to be kind of responding. But I figured I would come out and give you guys my opinion on where War Thunder is currently going where it is now, where it has been in the past, and, you know, tell you guys a little bit about what I think. So, before we kick things off, let me start by saying, I have played War Thunder since 1.29. That early, you know, it's not super, super early like a lot of YouTubers have, but uh, I have been playing for quite a long time. So, somewhere along those lines, I have been playing, and I started playing on the computer, and I didn't have a super great PC at the time, so I had to play at low settings, but I did love it. And uh, I actually spent so much time, you know, no premium account, nothing. And I actually got to the early tier Russian jets, which is, you know, that's why, although I don't have a lot of the Russian line filled out yet, I'm actually at about tier 4. Uh, I have quite a bit of experience with them because I did play them so long on my other PC account. So about a couple months later, I got a PS4, and as you guys know, I actually started doing videos on War Thunder on my PS4 sometime early last year. So early 2015, I did start recording and playing on the PS4, and it, the PS4 is absolutely great. Um, I am terrible with the controller, so I always plug the keyboard in and a mouse and play just like a normal desktop. And that's great. Of course, I had to make a new account because you can't cross over PC to PS4, only PS4 to PC. So I bought some premium account, bought some premium planes, you know, got all the way up in the lines on most, you know, tech lines. And now I play on the PC with my PS4 account. So that's where I am now. And I started off and I absolutely loved War Thunder. War Thunder was my go-to game. I didn't play any other game for a long time it was it was a great thing for me because it had some realism and actually it has quite a bit of realism it has you know documented facts and everything and I felt like it was pretty well balanced now of course I didn't have jets at that time so I don't know how well balanced jets were at 1.29 but you know you, you can go ask someone like the orange doom or uh, fly if they were flying around that time so, I continued playing, continued playing, and I've played all the way up until now. And I have to say, at some points in the game, I think are great. Of course, there's been a lot more jets. There's been a lot more props added. Uh, the P-38s are especially fun, in my opinion. They're just great planes, and now there's a bunch to unlock. Yet, I also kind of think it's scary, because we all know that jets have been kind of messed up right now and we can talk about that in a minute but I would like to discuss new players coming in so I asked a couple players early I'm sorry actually about August of last year to join in I was like hey download this game it's free it's a lot of fun tell me what you think about it so I did not tell them anything I did not you know I didn't say anything to prop up the game I just simply asked them to get the game without any previous knowledge of planes and jump in and tell me what you think and they said that the game was scary not because of you know not because of realis realistic effects of course that's great they said they loved the idea but they said it was kind of scary just jumping in and seeing these hundreds of planes you know to get to they're like I want to fly a jet and I'm like yeah it's gonna take quite a long time even if you're a pretty decent pilot because you're gonna have to go all the way from tier 1 to tier 5 so that kinda off put people now I don't think that's something that should change at all I think you know people should enjoy flying those props and some of the most fun you have is in tier 2 and tier 3 I mean those are absolutely great tiers you have the early BF 109s you have the P 47s you have P-39s, all great and really, really fun planes to fly. And a couple things they said also were that they felt some planes were overpowered or, you know, they don't know why they're facing it. 
And uh, I took that into consideration and said, yeah, there's some planes that are kind of under-tiered, but at the same time, it, it, a lot of it's just pilot skills too, of course. If an experienced player goes into Tier 1 or two, Tier 2 game, they're going to dominate just because they have far more you know, flight time than other people do. Especially level 100 pilots, I mean, it's a level 1 pilot not going to beat them. So, let's talk about the tiers. Uh, as we all know, Tier 1 to Tier 4 are props. All props. So, that's fine. Tier 1, I think, is... The Yak 1 kind of tears up Tier 1. I think that should kind of be uh, raised up. But, I mean, it is fightable. It's not totally unwinnable. So, that's fine. Tier 1 is great. Tier 2 is a lot of fun. Uh, tier 3 is starting to get some weird things. You know, you have the P-47 kind of under tiered in a lot of people's opinions you have the j2m2 but i mean it's a good balanced tier if i jump into tier 2 or tier 3 plane i can almost guarantee i'm gonna have fun and that's why i do so many videos on tier 2 and tier 3 planes is because they're just a lot of fun now tier 4 early tier 4 is still quite a bit of fun it's kind of when you move up to that high tier 4 early tier 5 you kind of start running into problems we all know that Yaks and, you know, all these high tier 4 planes can face jets. Now, that was more so a couple patches ago than it is now. I remember flying in my, you know, F-8F and facing nothing but meteors, uh, sea meteors and stuff like that. And, you know, this kind of puts planes at a weird spot, especially late World War II props. That didn't really hit a lot of development like the F8F, it wasn't used a ton. And like things like the Tall 152, because of course these late tier 4 German props are should be fighting with ME262s and HE162s, because that time period is correct. And things like the Meteor Mark 3, which flew a couple weeks after um, the ME262, I've read, that is. That's fine. In fact, I prefer the ME262 over the Meteor Mark III. Meteor Mark III is great and all, but I feel like it's an extremely slow plane for being a jet. And it kind of is. You know, a max speed of around 500 miles an hour at sea level, and the plane kind of falls apart in anything above that. So, you know, these early tier jets like the Meteor Mark III and the ME262, Horn 229s, HE162s, that's all fine if they fight those high tier props like the F8F. Because what should the F8F be fighting? Uh, you know, you can just make a game where, or I'm sorry, a battle rating where, you know, these late tier props only fight late tier props like, you know, the Yak 9P and the Tall 152 and the F8F and stuff. But then you're, you're going to have very long queue times and it's just not it's not gonna work out so like they had it before where ME262's fought props and that's not always true ME262's did fight MiG-15's every single game in a lot of patches but you know we're talking about uh, props versus jets right now so putting these planes at this high battle rating of you know 6.3 and 7.0 that was preferable to me and However, that wasn't preferable to some people. I personally feel like the F8F has no problem competing with the Meteor Mark III or the ME262. Sure, it's not as fast, but it's a great climber. It has amazing guns, and you know you have advantages over over you know jets. You can turn better. You have better maneuverability. Just everything, just about except speed you can outmatch them and that was a lot of fun I love fighting ME262's in my F8F and even in a P51 it's still not that bad it's historically correct and that's what I feel should be implemented so let's talk about a higher tier jets higher and mid tier jets so you're watching a Meteor Mark III go against stuff please keep in mind that this was the British actually experimented with jets 
kind of off and on throughout World War II. They were early prototypes, early designs, but of course a lot didn't go through. The Germans were actually the ones that kind of hopped on that bandwagon and really got things going. We all know German scientists were absolutely brilliant and really still are. But the Meteor Mark III should not be fighting MiG-17s or MiG-15s. Really, they should be fighting those ME-262s, Horn 229s. I personally feel like that was a great match, and uh, you still can get those sometimes. You can be down-tiered, but it's not very often. And when I do get that game against Horn 229 and ME-262s, I know I'm going to have a lot of fun. I know we both can compete against each other, and you know it's going to be just a lot of fun, like I've been saying. However, when I'm fighting MiG-17s, which not only outspeed me, but are ridiculously more fast. Like, it's not, there's not better acceleration. You have better maneuverability, of course, but you can only maneuver so hard when two or three MiG-17s are on your tail. Someone is going to get that 37 millimeter in you and uh, you're gonna die. So maneuverability only goes so far. And that holds true for even at the F-80. The F-80, of course, is quite a bit faster than the Meteor Mark III. However, compared to a MiG-17, it kind of just falls obsolete. However, the F-80 fighting the MiG-15 and stuff is actually more historically accurate. And uh, it was a Korean War jet. So, you know, the F-80 is not my main complaint. However, when you get the early version of the F-80, you know, you have stuff like the P-80. I really don't think those things should be fighting those high tier planes and of course we have the F-84 which some people will call absolutely uh, OP at 7.0 but I say yes and no when I fight it personally if I'm on the German team I don't have a lot of issues fighting it but that's because I actually grind the American jets with my F-84 I mean why not that's the battle rating it is and uh, fighting ME-262s with the F-84 is a lot of fun in my opinion so that's why I do it. However, when you get up into stuff like, you know, the early Sabres and the early MiG-15, I don't personally think that it's wrong for them to be fighting those high-tier jets. It's not nearly as ridiculous as the F-3 fighting MiG-17s. So, personally, I don't really have an opinion with those low-tier Sabres and those MiG-15s. Uh, so, rocket planes and stuff like that, those are kind of weird. I don't have a lot of opinions on that. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments what you think about rocket planes. I personally don't fly them a lot. I don't like them, and uh, I'm just really, really bad with them. So, moving on to stuff like the Japanese. Of course, we have the R2-Y2s. Uh, you can hop right into a Sabre if you're in the Japanese line. That kind of creates a weird predicament where you have a totally American flight style right off a Japanese tier. So you have some weird players facing stuff they've never had to fight before. So maybe we can talk about that in a later video. But you have stuff like the R2-Y2 which never actually flew. Yeah, you know, they were just models and stuff. And I don't think those are, are in a bad position right now. Um, you know, stuff that never actually flew has a very weird place in War Thunder because people don't know where it should actually go and I personally think that the R2-Y2 should stay where it is fighting you know my F-84 I think it's a great matchup and those 30 millimeters are just devastating so I'm not going I'm never gonna leave War Thunder guys I will always upload War Thunder content uh, I will I'm in War Thunder for the long run I've spent way too much money I've spent way too much time playing this game to just give up so, unless War Thunder goes under and uh, they take the game offline and, you know, then I'll find something else to post. But until then, I am in it until the end. So, that's my personal opinions on where the game is. Personally, I think the gameplay and the added planes is a lot of fun. Um, it's both scary and awesome to new players because so much to unlock. However, sometimes can, that can be a little bit discouraging if you want to fly a ME-262 and you have to grind tons and tons of planes. So, I don't personally think that the battle rating right now will 
I, I think it's going to be fixed. Hopefully. I'm really, really hoping. Uh, tell me what you guys want to see fixed. How, how you want it to be set up so that maybe I can make a reply to this video in a couple months or something. So guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time.